Hi friends, welcome back. So question for you, could Elon Musk, the billionaire CEO over at Tesla, get arrested? That's the subject of today's video. And uh, this is really interesting because Elon Musk is on a Twitter rampage right now. He's tweeting all this stuff because um, if you don't know, the Telegram CEO was just arrested in France. Uh, this is Musk just an hour ago uh, tweeting out, uh, POV, it's 2030 in Europe and you're being executed for liking a meme. <laughs> what? Um, and uh, he's referring to, again, this arrest. This is um, uh, Telegram CEO pa Pavel Durov arrested at the French airport just two hours ago. Um, for those of you in the community, I know we have a lot of people in Europe that watch this channel. Um, if you're in France and you have some French language news that are different than ours, please you know, chime in on this. I want to hear your thoughts on this sort of thing. Um, but this is real. Uh, this is a billionaire person also. It's being reported everywhere they're being arrested. And then suddenly you have Musk tweeting out this kind of stuff. This is like all uh, uh, on Musk's mind because he's been in spats with all sorts of uh, government officials in multiple countries, not just one country, multiple countries. And so Musk has tweeted this out an hour ago. Uh, Musk, the Second Amendment is the only reason long term that the first amendment will be upheld <laughs> that's, here's the meme founding fathers here's the first amendment and then oh and in case someone tries to take away that away here's the second amendment um if, if you guys aren't uh, aren't american this is basically referring to um the usa and our laws and, and basically uh the first amendment is about the free speech the second amendment is the gun rights and it is a very tricky one because I understand <laughs> someone like Mr. Musk says, you know, this is the Wild West in the USA. And we can do everything and anything that we want at all times. Um, I believe there are limits to things, right? So uh, even though I have freedom of speech doesn't mean I can just say anything at any time, in my opinion. Musk may differ. Or if I have, say, for example, right to bear arms, does that mean I can go buy tanks and grenades? So, <laughs> you know, that's 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 the uh, uh, the debate here. These are some of the replies that Musk got. Exactly. Never giving up my gun. So these are the replies to that post. Or another one of Musk fans is—is is this the uh, second too much Second Amendment right? Having all these uh, guns at your house, etc. Um, it's interesting because you know Musk has different freakouts from time to time, but I think this particular one, you know, really is how can I say getting under his skin um, because you know you're looking at the the Telegram CEO, which is basically another you know it, it's a messaging service like does encrypted stuff, um, but you could you could classify it as, as social media because I guess there's uh, ways that. Um, terrorists can disseminate information through this thing. Um, we don't use clip, uh, uh, Telegram that much over here in Korea. Uh, we use actually Kakao Talk, uh, which is really common. And um, I, you know, I, I think in the Middle East they might use a different platform. And you guys can let me know. Like, but I do know Telegram is is popular. It's also popular uh, in Europe. And I'm not sure if they use it in U USA. You guys can let me know on that. I know a lot of people use say like a WhatsApp. But this has always been issues of like if the authorities say, hey, you know, you need to shut down terrorist activities on on your app. Do you do it or not? Um, it's, it's all it's a it's a legitimate question. Right. And the thing is, is that Musk has already been warned um, by the EU. Uh, this was uh, before when Musk was give, doing an interview with Trump and the EU guys like, OK, you better not say anything crazy. <laughs> you, you get in trouble. And, and I laugh at this stuff. But it, but it, it is to be perfectly frank, guys, it is in all seriousness, because, you know, d just for example, um, we just ran the article or uh, we just read it. And it was about um, kind of summarizing a book that recently came out about Twitter and the blue checkmark thing. And this was actually the, the talk in um, inside Twitter slash X. The staff was like, OK, if we give blue check marks to everyone, you know, essentially no one can get it. And before it was blue check mark would only go to like a famous person or, you know, official authority or government a government or like, you know, a, a company. But if someone could just buy a blue check mark, they could pose as being like, you know, a fire department. And say, oh, there's a fire here. Or they could pose as being a police officer and say, oh, you know, there's this person wanted for arrest. So they could, you know, I hope you guys understand the dangers of like giving a platform to you know any individual that can post any number of things that you know can pose harm to people it, it is, is a very serious thing i know and, and musk doesn't seem to take this stuff seriously you know it, it's hard to say it well it, and i always wonder this stuff with musk what's going on in his mind you know he's talking about hey I'm, I'm happy to be in a cabinet position with mr trump and to me it looks like he's looking to buy a pardon or something because like talking about you know how could musk be arrested so one would be you're you're have a platform where you're helping to foster um some some sort of misinformation right that kind of thing and and you're you know yes you're saying you know founding fathers and stuff like that um but you know the the thing is it's like if, if you're facilitating people to put out messages that are unsafe and and causing other people to do you know another group of people harm it, it, it is real serious consequences there right um so that would be one thing right his platform gets in trouble another thing where you could be in, in trouble is like hey, what if it turns out like you're like doing fraud over at Tesla? Uh, I'll give you a simple example. So let's say, 
you know, Musk comes out and says, guys, you know, our, our car is so awesome and, and it can be driven by the robot. And it turned out to be a complete lie that they had a whole bunch of people in India just sitting there driving the cars remotely. <laughs> and the, the Internet goes down in India, for, just for example. And suddenly all the, you know, FSD cars quit working and then you have like all these crazy car crashes. And Elon was like the head of, of covering up, you know, that kind of thing. Like you're talking about people's lives here, right? Um, you, you're also about people's lives with say something like a SpaceX. Um, this is a, you know, uh, essentially a space company that puts... Uh, rockets and stuff up into space you guys understand this thing um there's any number of w- uh, reasons that he could get arrested who knows for, for example maybe he has some issue with like domestic dispute with uh, any one of his you know uh, women that he's associates with he's got kids everywhere you know who knows um the thing is with mr musk is he thinks he's above the law right he he, he just he, this is the way he behaves and it's interesting because like that's so what i pose a question is is he really that out of touch with the world? <laughs> I mean, you think everything's a joke because, you know, for example, we talk about this, you know, when you're, when you're borrowing money from the Saudis or, you know, people in Qatar or you have dealings with people in Russia, that was, um, this because what this was, this is a disclosure on who's got money in X. So we knew that many of the, um, banks do like the Morgan Stanley's or like your Barclays got it, but then we we're finding out like which in individual individuals. And there was like one recently that came out that he's connected to some sort of Russian oligarch. Now they got money in into X. I mean, this guy is like all over the place. And um, I remember this too. Uh, and this is from the book and and um, because I I read his book where the when they were first starting up uh, SpaceX, I think they were looking to get Russian rockets or something like that. That deal ended up falling through. But um, I'm I'm sure he's got. Uh, connections all over the world for all kinds of people right and, and and you know when you're when you're someone like a mr musk who's very very high profile i mean you think because people tend to you know worship you and build statues to you this is a real statue <laughs> of that you, like you i you kind of think that you're god right that kind of thing uh, moreover you know some people like for example i'll give you the example of sandy monroe they, they literally they defend you no matter what listen to this but i will tell you one thing elon musk <laughs> elon musk is the greatest person on the planet right now. Nobody else out there, nobody has made a rocket ship that'll go to Mars. Nobody out there has made uh, electrification a, a reality. You look at that, 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 that magnificent piece back there, if, even if you don't like the look of the Cybertruck, look inside. Right, so even... <laughs> <laughs> even sandy's like oh look inside the subject it's so awesome but he's like worshiping musk here and musk even like recently over at um you know twitter he told his employees if you want to get your stock options you got to write them like a, a one-page letter saying you know why <laughs> it's like and, and the reason why i laugh at this stuff is be like dude it's in my contract i worked here because you gave a contract that said you're going to give me stock options and now you want me to like write a letter to you begging for this kind of thing but that that's sort of like how musk's like wants people to treat him. They want to treat him like God and like, don't question him. Um, but guys, you know, things do fall apart. Um, Sam Bakeman freed. If you remember the FTX thing, we talked about this several times on channel was the only YouTuber uh, that was, was heavily talking about this. If you follow my channel, you'll know this. Uh, he ultimately, uh, was a fraudster, got arrested, right? Elizabeth Holmes. She's like gave up, turned herself in 11 year prison term. And I don't remember what, um, Sam Bakeman freed's prison term is. You guys can let me know on that. Uh, or recently, you know, Andrew Tate, the popular social media person, I guess he's on, was his house arrest some sort of stuff with minors who knows and I, you know the taint stuff is, is always a drama but you know the musk stuff and, and i know that for people who like tate and they like musk or they like mr trump they think oh they're just all targeting conservatives etc but it's not the case guys uh, i don't think you you could classify bankman freed as conservative and i don't think you could classify little Holmes as a conservative I, I think it's more like in my opinion you know if you if you're sitting at home thinking oh my god you know the penguin got arrested right or you're like oh my god you know uh, the uh, the Riddler got arrested. Um, chances are you're the Joker sitting at home, like Mr. Musk, and you're just you're thinking, well, if they're going after other criminals like me, the Batman, <laughs> I I best be worried. And so you know that's kind of how I, I see this. I, I think um, when Elon sees that his you know fellow billionaires are getting arrested, and I'm talking about referring to the Telegram thing, uh, or you know crypto or otherwise, and and guys, this, this happens, right? Um, some people, they actually think they're above the law and they start doing all sorts of crazy stuff. They think they're untouchable because everyone around them is worshiping them and they surround themselves with yes people and they don't realize uh, what they're doing and the danger they're putting themselves in. Um, from us on the outside, uh, I'll just be perfectly frank, it, it's uh, uh, crazy and entertaining, uh, but it's also too frightening and dangerous. And I, I do want to, you know, I do make jokes and stuff at the time, but I do want to 
you know, emphasize that the power this person has, um, it, it, it is, it is dangerous. That's the best way to put it. So, um, I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this thing. Um, what do you think? Could Elon Musk get arrested? Change my mind. So <laughs> thanks again for watching one and, um, I'll catch you next video.